got a preview of tonight's storage war story. It is a hot new series and a real life trend where gamblers looking to strike gold line up for a glimpse inside storage lockers where the goods are up for auction. Yeah, guys, $30 to buy. Good 30 to buy. 30 to here for 30 bucks one time. 20 bucks, guys. The key goes in. The gate goes up. And the betting begins. And I sold the day's way $1,000. These folks are lining up to get a quick look inside abandoned storage lockers. Only a glimpse or two before they have to decide how much money they'll drop on a chance to strike gold. Peace, guys. Don't take too long. A lot of people get to look, guys. A few seconds and peace flowed along. They will sell it. Auctions have always been in my blood. Martinez works with Dan Dotson, the owner of American Auctioneers and StorageTreasures.com, a website that tips buyers to storage sales. I've been an auctioneer since 74. People should just look for quality items. If what you see is quality, then maybe what you don't see is quality. If what you see is, you know, old stained mattresses, then maybe that's all that you're going to see in them. And joining us is Dan and Laura Dotson, the owners of American Auctioneers and StorageTreasures.com. The two stars of the Storage Wars. Thanks so much for Thank joining you. us in the studio. I love this whole concept. It's like a, a, a giant garage sale, only you bid for what you want. Modern day treasure hunt. Yes, absolutely. What have you seen change in the past year or so? And because of the economy, I can only imagine things have really changed because people aren't able to pay for their storage units anymore. True. There's a lot more units and a lot more things being lost here in California, especially than ever. I mean, our economy is just kind of in the dumps. We're trying to crawl out and there's just a lot more stuff for sale out there than there was uh, yeah. two years ago. If you sure. see your business go up in a typical month, how crazy. Uh, for instance, last year we were handling about 1,500 auctions. We're up about 3,000. We have uh, brought on the market, I think we sold about $3 million worth of storage units last year. You yeah. can really find some incredible nuggets, can you? Yes. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. it happens. You know, every <laughs> once in a while there is a life-changing unit out there, but most of the time it's hard work. You know, Very if, hard if you've got work. a kidney belt in the pickup truck and, and some yeah. cash in your pocket, you can certainly go out and do that, but um, yeah. it is hard work. It is. What is the best advice then that you give people who want to jump on this bandwagon? And yeah, well, I think that they, they got to be prepared. You know, it is hard work, like Daddy said. You have to make sure that you have a, a venue to be able to disperse this uh, merchandise, you know, and either swap meet, eBay, yard sale, thrift stores. You need a truck, a flashlight, yeah. you need watch, you need some cash Strong in your pocket. Back. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you have had people yeah. who have found, what, a half a million dollars? Yes, you know, uh, about two months ago up in San Francisco, you know, we do sales all over the uh, I would say the United States, but we're getting there all over California. And up there, one of our buyers bought a unit for $1,100 and absolutely struck it rich. $500,000 worth of gold doubloons, uh, silver pieces of eight, and um, gold bars. That hasn't been the only thing sold. There's yeah. been deals sold. We sold some Alberta Vargas stuff, and yeah. four buyers bought that a couple, two and a half years ago. And sure. I think there was a couple million dollars worth of stuff in that. So I was surprised by the explosion in popularity. Yeah, um, you know, when we first started putting this stuff on YouTube, a couple years ago, yeah. um, we just thought, God, if we can get a few more clients and a few more customers, we're going to just maybe be happy with that. And yeah. it's just more than we've ever imagined. Yeah. What it's, about the attention now from being on television? Oh, How my gosh. Well, I love being the queen of auctions. One of the only <laughs> lady auctioneers on television. Pay the lady. <laughs> and, you know, my husband is a third-generation auctioneer. And when he was, you know, doing this, I just was so attracted to him and his business and how he, you know, did it. I sold my restaurants, became an auctioneer, and I've watched, you know, my husband actually just grow and and flourish and he's actually he says to me I'd like to get a little camera and film ourselves so I can have my legacy and it's become something that I mean wow. <laughs> well you know what we love you guys you guys are so much fun and thank thank you. you're obviously a, a, a great couple <laughs> <laughs> absolutely it's fun working together you know yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's one thing that's changed you know yeah. uh, we used to go and drive 250 miles yeah. every day each one of us now we get to work together quite a bit so we oh, love yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for congratulations on everything thank you. thanks, thanks for having us Thanks for having us. We enjoy your show. Yeah. Thanks. Watch us, you know, Tuesday nights on A and E. And if you're looking for a treasure, just tune in. Come out to our auctions. And if people want to find storage units anywhere in the United States, then go to storagetreasures.com. There's a lot of forums, message boards, a lot of great information on there, and free auction. And we have over 200,000 bidders and about 49,000 facilities on that site. It's the best auction in the world. You guys are up for Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Still to come is California Brook.